Now, in another top story, diplomatic efforts to restore constitution order in Niger make no headway. Now, this as the military junta snubbed meetings with a senior U.S. official and delegations from UN, African Union and ECOWAS on Tuesday. The U.S. Deputy Secretary of State, Victoria Newland, made an unannounced visit to Niger. She was denied a meeting with junta's top leadership. However, she did meet some of the other military leaders. Newland says that she had difficult talks with the military. United States says that Newland made it clear in her talks about the consequences military would face with regards to U.S. assistance to the country. That is, if they refuse to restore democratic rule. U.S. says that it still holds hope for reversing the coup, but also was quote-unquote realistic after the failed talks. I think it's very unfortunate, and it is in keeping with the... the message that we heard from them yesterday when uh, uh, Acting Deputy Secretary Newland presented options for a diplomatic path forward and a negotiated process going forward, and they were not willing to, um, uh, to take that path at this time. We're going to keep trying, again, fully um, uh, recognizing how difficult that path is. U.S., which has been operating its counter-terrorism mission in Niger, is especially concerned. It is also worried that the situation could be benefited by Moscow to grow its influence in the nation. Now, something which happened after the military coup in neighboring Mali. However, U.S. Envoy Newland says that the military leaders understand very well the risks to their own sovereignty over the involvement of Russian private military Wagner. The U.S. says it has not seen any signs that Russia's Wagner group instigated the military takeover or any signs of Wagner activities in Niger so far. Meanwhile, the military leaders on Tuesday also rejected a proposed visit by representatives of the African Union and United Nations and West African Regional Bloc called ECOWAS. The group chair as well as... Nigeria's president, Bola Tinubu, has said that diplomacy is the best way forward in this situation. However, they are not keeping other options off the table, which is a possible military intervention in Niger that they are hinting at. ECOWAS has announced new sanctions on Niger, which aims to target those involved in the takeover. ECOWAS heads of state are also scheduled to join a summit on Thursday to discuss the coup situation.